What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. What you mean? 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 YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dope Ass Panda. And if you guys read the title, you know why we are here today, guys. I am doing a stitch braid bun and I'm using all products from Magic Fingers collab with Shine and Jam. I first found out about Sasha Harris when I was watching the braid up and I fell in love with her work just because it was super different. So today I'm using all of her products to create this style. So I have her Edge Magic. I have the Shine and Jam Magic Fingers, which I have used on my channel before. And then she also has a setting mousse and a finishing sheen that I'm going to be using as well. Guys, when she released the rest of her products, I was actually super geeked and I went on her website and I bought it pronto. The finishing Machine is actually sold out on her website so I have bought that separately at the beauty supply by my house but everything else I got online for 25 bucks it shipped really quick and everything so I was super excited to do this video using all of her products every single one of them are bomb and so we're gonna talk about them today before I get into this video you guys know I have to do my post notification shout outs so today my first shout out is going out to Alana Land. She said, oh my God, I'm first. Hi, I love how you do hair. Thank you so much, girl, for having my post notifications on. It literally took me a minute to get good at doing hair. So thank you. I really appreciate the compliment. And then Anaya Howard said first. Baby girl, you weren't first though. You were second. But she said first. I first love the video. Thank you so much, Anaya. I appreciate you having my post notifications on. Y'all be killing me. Because it'd be like 10 people that say first, and I'd be like, how are all y'all first? But Anaya, girl, you almost made it, okay? You got to be a little bit quicker next time. Um, but thank you so much to both of you guys, of you guys for having my um, post notifications on. I really appreciate you guys. And yeah, I love you guys. All right, so getting into this look um i'm really not doing anything different than i do for my stitch braids y'all know i had a couple knotless in the middle the reason why i do that is to make the ponytail look a little bit more full and then i'm using the shine and jam uh, magic fingers to um define my parts and also to basically mold my hair in for my stitch braids i'm going in between my comb and my pinky finger to create these stitches i actually have something really fun that i'm going to share with you guys in a future video but yeah, her products are absolutely bomb. So you guys know that um, typically I use the, the green Shine and Jam. I do use the red Shine and Jam also. It doesn't have as strong as a hole because the green Shine and Jam is for like, it's like their kind of edge control line. But I absolutely love the red one. I know this is definitely most braiders go to. Um, for me, like it just was really expensive in comparison to the rest of the Shine and to the rest of the shine and gem so i tried it for a little bit and then i switched back to the green but for this video i'm gonna be slaying with it i've been using it for my past couple clients i know you guys have probably been seeing it on my tray um but yes this product works absolutely bomb
right, so next up we're gonna be using her setting mousse, which is literally like definitely my favorite mousse now. It is super affordable and y'all, you definitely don't need this much, okay? We were watching something on TV and I wasn't paying attention as I was squirting it in my hand and y'all know I'm used to using Vigoral, so I didn't expect it to come out this much, but y'all, it was literally so much mousse. So if you guys are like, why the hell did she put that much? You definitely do not need this much of the mousse, but y'all, I literally love this. I like the consistency of it because I don't like mousses that are really watery and that's why um, I like to use the Vigoral one because it's really thick and this one is literally the exact same way. The cap on this one was so sturdy that I was like, let it, like off that alone, I'm purchasing this again um, because y'all know that literally the tops to the Vigoral mousse literally set me the fuck off. So. I absolutely love how sturdy her cap was on this. And then I just went in with the finishing sheen and I kind of sprayed it on there. I'm also going to do it again at the end. I just kind of did it to um, add a little moisture in there while I tie it down and I'm going to be dipping her hair. So one of my subscribers had asked what this uh, kettle thing is called that I'm using to dip her hair in and it is called an electric kettle. Guys, I'll always link it in the description section along with all the products that I'm using. So if you're ever not sure of what something is, right underneath my video, if you guys click down on that little box section, um, you guys will see a list of all the products I use, all the music in my videos. I try to put as much information in there as I can for you guys. So next I'm gonna go in with her Edge Magic. And y'all, when I first used this, it had a similar consistency to the Shine and Jam, so I was kind of like, eh, I don't really know about this. Like, is it the same thing or is it not? But as you use it, it starts to kind of like get a little sticky, but not super sticky and thick like an edge control. But I liked it because it makes like the hair moldable. And with this client, I didn't really leave out any baby hairs, but um, I'll have to use it again when I leave out baby hairs on the client. Like, it makes it easy to, like, mold and shape the edges into whatever shape you want it to go into. And then it kind of, like, freezes it in that spot. And so I absolutely really, really love this product. And a little bit of it goes a long way. Definitely going to be using this again. Definitely going to be using all of the <laughs> these products again. So I'm going in with a little bit of shine. Again, the finishing sheen. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my client outside. Guys, if you have not tried these products... I 100% recommend, and it's really rare that I say that, so make sure you guys check them out. As always, if you guys like this video and you want me to review more products, don't forget to click that thumbs up button, like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and I will catch you guys next time. What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. What you mean? 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 What you mean?